to check in again with Mike Apple for the latest in business news. Good morning, Mike. Good morning, Tammy. We may see Wall Street uh, set a record today by setting a record. How's that going to work? Well, the Dow Jones Industrial Average has set, set 69 record closing highs so far for 2017 and what has been just a tremendous year for investors in the U.S. market. And today, if it's uh, record number 70, that would be the most ever record-breaking days in a single year for Wall Street's benchmark blue chips. And right now, prospects look pretty good. Dow futures up 130 points. We're looking at a global market rally underway this morning. Uh, this is the uh, so-called Santa Claus rally, perhaps. Prospects for the economy in 2018 look pretty good, so investors plowing some money toward the uh, markets. You've got uh, U.S. tax reform expected to be signed into law this week by the Trump administration. They got to pass a couple more hurdles on that over the weekend, so that looks good to go. So uh, markets in the early trade this morning looking very strong. Uh, Bitcoin hit another record. It started trading on the world's largest exchange, the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, uh, over the weekend, rolled out smoothly and promptly climbed to about $19,500. It's cooled off a little bit since, but still elevated prices. Uh, as the cryptocurrency market continues to roll right along, Canadian dollar, incidentally, at 77.5 cents U.S. Uh, the sudden passing of Barry Sherman and uh, the future of Apotex in question uh, this morning. Uh, following that, the uh, passing of Mr. Sherman and his wife, Honey. Uh, Apotex, founded 40 years ago by Barry Sherman, it's a privately held company. And this comes at a time when the pharmaceutical industry itself is in the midst of uh, reorganization globally as some companies have been cutting jobs, others have been scaling back, paying down debt. There has been industry consolidation, so uh, question marks going forward there. And another industry giant that passed over the weekend, Hunter Harrison, uh, top name in railroading with uh, the, he was the one-time CEO of CN Rail and CP Rail. Uh, turned both of those companies around. Uh, Hunter Harrison passing away at the age of 73 unexpectedly. He was currently the CEO at CSX Corporation in the United States. They were undergoing a restructuring under his leadership and uh, CSX Corporation stock down by 5% in early trade this morning. And uh, Kevin, that study regarding the issue of penny rounding. This UBC undergrad uh, saying that uh, Canadian grocery store companies might be making as much as $3 million <laughs> over the uh, course of a year by rounding up any uh, transactions. Uh, you know, when you look at that, that's a rounding error, all things considered, for the grocery store industry. And the Bank of Canada, you know, if they're getting $3 million in profit, the Bank of Canada actually saves $11 million a year by the elimination of the penny which went bye-bye back in 2012. So let's add to that the five cents they charge for shopping bags. Yes, that's true. A little bit of a windfall for the groceries, <laughs> but hats off to Mark's Work Warehouse. I was there, uh, the one at the, uh, near the Eaton Centre just the other day, mm -hmm. and they asked you, do you want to round up to the nearest dollar and we'll donate it to donate a Jumpstart? It. Yeah. Why well, don't they I get thought... rid of the, the nickel? How does that change things, too? Yeah, exactly. Oh. If you pay by debit, none of this is an issue. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. All right, thank you very much, sir. You're welcome.